We at Lollipop believe inspiration can be taken from anywhere. Design can inspire many, but our inspirations can be from other designers, other designs, or from any other creative art. When we design, we make sure that our content is great. Because content is king, we have to make sure we have a strong content that reaches out to the masses and have a great impact. Speaking of content, what better example than the Ramayana, a show whose content has broken records of all times, 77 million in viewership. And I don't think this record can be broken anytime soon. Today, we have the pleasure of talking to Ramayana's one of the most inspirational characters, Sita. Welcome, Deepika. Ma'am, it is our pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you for accepting to have this small talk with us today. Namaskar. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to be with you. So ma'am, tell me, how are you keeping yourself positive and optimistic these days? How are you spending your days? Uh, how am I keeping myself occupied? That's, um, well, I, I have a lot of work because I, ever since Raman has started, I have been on the go with press and with the national press and uh, a little bit of regional press also sometimes. And uh, I've kind of scheduled my day in such a way that from 12 to 6, I interact with the press. Before that, I have my uh, house chores and in the evening, I sit with the girls and we play games and uh, uh, my girls l love cooking and baking. So they bake and I eat. So that's what I'm doing at this point of time. Ma'am, Ramayan was such an epic in the times that it was aired. Such strong was its content that I remember that our weekend routines were, were based on the time that Ramayan was aired. And I'm sure that was the routine that everybody in the whole country or all Indians in the world followed. That was the impact of this content, which I think none of the any other digital platforms or any other OTT platforms have been able to create to date. So with the in search of so many channels, you know, and so many options to watch from. We have Netflix, we have Prime, we have all the other OTT channels that have come in. Uh, we still have had great viewership on of Ramayana. What is your view on this? Yeah, we had a fabulous uh, viewership and especially after 33 years when you have a rerun of the same show, which was extremely popular even then. And then again, you get that kind of viewership. I think it's fabulous. I mean, who does not like when their body of work is appreciated? And uh, I think uh, basically in Ramayan, I think there's a magic. I think the actors have all performed extremely well. The content is very, very strong. And uh, I think Sagar Sab's direction is very good. The photography is very good. I think uh, sometimes there is a magic. Like Sagar Sab always said in his interviews, that So I think it sometimes it just falls, things just fall into place. And uh, I think that's the magic of our serial Ramayan. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Who's not happy with, with that kind of viewership? I think it's every actor's dream. Moving on, ma'am. Um, Ramayan has many lessons for us to learn. Would you want to discuss any one which relates to the current situation we are in, like the COVID, the lockdown? Uh, that's a very interesting question, actually. I mean, how do you relate Ramayan to uh, lockdown? Uh, but yes, uh, Ramayan is extremely relevant as a story, as, as, as the, all the characters uh, that were played and depicted. And uh, you can relate to all of them at this point of time because they're all living around you, your brother, your sister, your husband. So I think it's a very relevant story written by Valmiki Ji and Tulsi Das Ji. And of course, now... Uh, Ramanan Sagar has put it across to you. So uh, what I understand, um, if I have to relate Ramayan to a lockdown, I would say that it was Ashok Vatika period because um, that's the only time when she was, uh, she was kidnapped and she was put in lockdown. And uh, yeah, so, um, but anyway, I mean, it was, it was a wonderful end. At the end of the day, Ramji comes and rescues her. So Again, uh, I think Ramayan is all about positivity. It's all about how you overcome the, the wrong, how you overcome the negativity, how you overcome the evil. So that's what it is, yeah. The news these days aren't too, too positive, man. What would you want to say to cheer up the people out there? 
what is it that I would like to tell the people? I would like to tell everybody, whoever is listening to the show, and uh, I, I would just tell them that be positive. Whatever happens in the world at any given point of time, it always happens for the better. I mean, we are looking at a situation where, yes, economy is suffering, but you see how the, the birds are chirping and how the animals are coming back into the cities. And uh, there's been so many changes. So much money went into cleaning Ganga, but now Ganga is, is clean. The water can be, can be consumed. So there are changes which are happening possibly for the better, better, a better good. So I think we just need to be positive. And I have taken this from this lockdown is that um, look within yourself, spend a little time with yourself, improve where you feel you need to and uh, just be positive. Just just change your outlook to completely, uh, I will not say, yeah, to, uh, to a certain extent, I would say surrender yourself to just plain positivity. And I think uh, you will find the best results in this situation. You are aware that the world is seeing an economic slowdown and there is much stress in business houses, small or big, especially the startups. But they all are eagerly waiting to come back with a bank. Do you have any message for them, ma'am, so that to elevate their enthusiasm? Uh, yeah, Kruti, I think it's a very uh, grim situation. We are all uh, in a lot of... Um, stress from that point of view economy is bad our businesses are all um, are just not functioning so i wouldn't say it's bad because they're just not functioning you none of your factories are happening and it's it's everywhere the situation is everywhere so i don't think startups should really worry about in fact uh, they always uh, bring up such great ideas you have uh, ideas like squiggy and zomato and uh, you have uber and all of them they're all fantastic uh, modules uh, at this point of time I think uh, startups uh, will do well and I think all, all one needs to do when you're looking at startups is that you need to have confidence in your vision, the confidence when you started off, the confidence that I have the confidence and I am going to make it and um, hard work is, is all that you require. So I think uh, they're going to be fine at the end of the day. You're all going to be fine at the end of the day. Yeah. That was a very motivating talk with you, ma'am. Thank you so much for taking the time out and talking with us. I'm sure this talk is definitely going to give us some good insights into how we should stay positive and be all charged up and prepped up for the days to come. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. Thank you.